now we know something more about the future and everything is going to change. You know, costs are uncertain. The technologies that are going to be available are uncertain. Load growth is uncertain, but we do know that we need to meet these emissions targets in the future. So that's providing us some context by which to think about putting our near-term decisions right now in the context of those long-term goals so that we don't make a mistake and, and go in a direction that's not going to be aligned with achieving that outcome in the long term. So we're, we're in that context of, of time. What are the goals in the future? We're also putting the modeling in the context of the 11 Western states and beyond, because we recognize that Washington is part of a larger system. It's part of a larger electricity network, but it's also part of larger fuels networks and markets. And the, the actions taken by other states are also going to be impactful on, on what Washington's options or costs look like over time. We're structuring our model so that it's, it's meeting the state's climate and energy policy goals. That includes the emissions targets, the electricity targets, and other policies that are already in place in Washington.